say, who are they? They're scientist cults who are based on uh, your uh, psychic ability uh, and on your IQ and then on your commitment to the program. Yes, that crazy cult of scientists. Oddly enough, I don't really remember this when I first went to university, this this introduction course where you had to prove your loyalty and your psychic ability by, by swearing how willing you would be to harvest baby organs. Or will you do research programs on babies where we tell poor women uh, that, uh, oh, oh, your baby died right when they were born, but really you'll keep the baby alive and sometimes kill them, sometimes harvest them, sometimes do experiments on them. Yeah, oddly enough, all the people in the science course seem to be people with this crazy idea that science is the methodology that built the first world. Hardly any aspect of your life that has not been drastically improved by scientific discovery. That's the power of the method. It allows you ample food, communications, awesome medical scanners. It'll land you on the moon. Or just take a more recent and benign example from this channel. You can calculate how much water you have to evaporate in a vacuum for the rest of it to freeze. <laughs> Calculation that's trivial takes about 10 seconds and can be awesomely demonstrated. Science is about understanding the world around us. And one of the main reasons that we do that is because it makes our life better. You reduce the suffering in the world by it. So for instance, a single scientific discovery now feeds about half of the world's population. Or the eradication of smallpox, which in the 20th century alone saved some 300 million people. It saved about six times the entire death toll of World War II, and that was a single scientific discovery. The one thing scientists really don't have that much interest in is harvesting baby organs, because why would you do that? Post -birth. How much money do you think they get wait for a, minute, a seven and a half pound baby they can keep alive for two weeks, wait, wait, and mama doesn't know? So if they can register the organs and get bidders, but wait a minute, you're then saying they can make 500,000. You see, the modus operandi of Alex Jones is simple. He's the little finger of the internet. Sometimes, when I try to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. I assume the worst. What's the worst reason they could possibly have for saying what they say and doing what they do? Yeah, just think of the worst possible reason why someone might do something, then make it worse, and then make it a conspiracy, and then sell it to the world with brain force. What do you mean? You're a saying that the baby, baby they kill on the spot only gets fifty grand. What do you mean saying that they, they take the baby from the mother and the mother doesn't know that the baby's alive? Yeah, you know how they engineer tomatoes to last on the shelf? Yes. Why would people want to kill babies? Oh, to harvest organs, of course. Why? Oh, so they can make money for their science cult. Never mind that buying or selling this sort of thing is illegal in all first world countries. Yeah, it's true there's a black market organ trade, but it's mostly third world stuff. Uh, excuse me, Virginia, uh, Virginia's about to pass it. New York's trying to pass it. California's trying to pass it. Three other states are trying to pass it to keep babies alive and allow... Notice the governor goes... Look, no. There is no organization that's going around looking for babies to kill in New York and then selling the baby parts off for cash. I mean, let's just start with the obvious. Even if they do somehow manage to kill someone's baby, what are you saying? They're, they're, they take the baby from the mother and the mother doesn't know that the baby's alive? Yeah. You know how they engineer tomatoes to last on the shelf? Yes. I mean, geez. Look, if a baby dies in hospital, it's not like the doctors get to say, oh, great, a baby's died. Now it's ours to sell. No, the body of the baby goes to the parents so it's that they can have a funeral. I mean, if just one hospital lost just one baby's body, can you imagine the headlines? Hospital lost my baby's body. They would never live it down. The idea that there are hospitals doing this to hundreds of babies. Uh, yeah, I think someone might not have thought their conspiracy theory through very well. Just saying. But whatever, let's just assume that his organ harvesting thing is true for a second. 
Let's just think about the simple practicalities of this. How big do you think the market is for fresh born baby organs? I'm not entirely certain there's much of a market for this sort of thing. Even if you could get them, children's organs, you can arguably transplant into adults. I mean, adult organs, maybe, but adult organs can go in virtually anyone else, assuming their suit will be matched. Baby organs are only any good for other babies. In reality, what Alex Jones is doing here is he's taking the case of, say, a, a brain dead baby. You know, almost stillborn, but still breathing. Go to YouTube and type in Governor of Virginia talks about post birth abortion. Wow. And, why and it's done in cases where there may be severe deformities, there may be a, a, a fetus that's non viable. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. What do you do next? Well, obviously, the first thing you do is you try and keep the baby alive with a respirator. No, no, listen to me. This Jamie's is serious, Jamie. You need to come to out for the children. Uh, I will give you $1 million if you can prove that I'm making up that the governor said we keep babies alive after they're born, we keep them comfortable. Yes, the monster. He wants to keep babies alive and comfortable. And then you decide what the next thing that you should do is. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So basically, it's the Terry Schiavo case, but with a baby. Who decides if turning off the respirator is murder? I mean, if Alex was looking at the Terry Schiavo case, he would have described this as a 41-year-old post-birth abortion. The Senate so, voted three days ago on Monday to not pass a bill for post-birth abortion to not kill... Wait, wait, wait. Post-birth? It says viable babies already born can be killed. Yep. According to the Terry Schiavo case, post-birth abortion has been legal for some 20 years. Just Alex Jones seems to have missed that one. Terry Schiavo, for those who don't remember, was a particularly difficult case of a woman who, who tried to do some harsh dieting and ended up getting a heart attack, which then starved her brain of oxygen and landed her in a permanent vegetative state. Now, this dragged on for over 10 years, and your brain, if you've got brain damage and it's not being used, it kind of decays away. So after 10 years, her brain had degraded right away and her skull had thickened. The thing was that her body was essentially okay. She could breathe on her own and her heart worked, but she had to be fed through a tube. So if you took the tube out, she would starve. Again, does that make the person who does it a murderer? Or is she effectively brain dead anyway, which means that you're not really killing her because that's what death is, it's brain death. These are difficult questions. Yeah, Alex Jones takes a single difficult question and turns this into some conspiracy to harvest baby organs. And then he uses these arguments. He uses these arguments. He goes, well, sometimes the baby, sometimes the baby is, is deformed. No, they want the organs. Hell, I'm pretty sure that if he was talking about the Terry Schiavo case, it would be like, these doctors, they're just evil, so evil. They don't even pretend anymore. They describe their patients as vegetables because that's how they see their patients, sorry, their, their victims as vegetables to be harvested and sold for the new world order. It's like saying, you know, well, the National Guard, they're occasionally bought in to shoot hippies or whatever. Therefore, whenever the government gasps for money for the military, they're really just building a hippie killing camp, like the FEMA death camps that Obama was going to build. I mean, why would you need a load of disaster relief tents for a disaster organization? I mean, uh, do these people think they're planning the fire festival? Well, maybe. Yeah, I know a top guy in the CIA. He tells me it's kind of 50-50. Or, or why would they need loads of coffin liners to stop water getting into coffins? Nope, they're all disposable coffins that Obama, the one who was born in Kenya, he's, he's planning to bury millions of people in these. We know this is FEMA. We know that uh, these are coffins. Some people are debating that because we have all the news articles where it says FEMA's ordered coffins and body bags. You all remember when that happened, right? When when Obama's death camps opened and buried millions of people in disposable coffins. 
yeah, it, it didn't happen because it was just a field full of coffin liners. And, uh, uh, oh man, the, the, the level of stupidity around that just beggars belief. In fact, let's just take a quick look at that, shall we? A disaster management organization that's ordering things to deal with a disaster. I mean, no, say it isn't so. That's so evil. It must be run by satanic globalist elites or something, wherever they hang out these days. Secondly, they're not coffins. They're coffin liners, things you put around the outside of the coffin to stop water getting in. So if you're looking at millions of dead people, you wouldn't bother with coffins, let alone coffin liners to stop the water getting in. You would go for something like cremation or mass graves. But trying to reason people out of a position they didn't reason themselves into in the first place can be uh, eh, tricky. I mean, do none of Alex Jones' supporters care that his predictions about FEMA death camps were, or were comically bad? According to broadcaster Alex Jones, FEMA is a front for a secret government, and the housing locations will actually serve as quarantine centers or internment camps. This is not an unfounded fear. Or, or his predictions about the second American Civil War. I mean, you remember that one, the one that started on July the 4th, what was it, 2016, 17, 18? I, I forget when. Everybody knows now they're making their launch towards Civil War. Everybody knows they're trying to turn over the checkers board because they're losing. Which is almost perfect for an exchange prediction because it could be put anywhere in his entire career. You know, for the entire over Obama's presidency, he was about to make his move. And, well, what do you know? In this most recent Joe Rogan interview, yeah, they're about to make their move. I'm not saying you're the left, but mainstream media, whatever. We're so censored now. They're making their move right now. Who's so they? The, the globalist technocracy, the mad scientists, the guys that are want to learn the secrets of the universe, so probably already have them. I mean, the whole thing has this end of the world cult vibe to it. You know, that the great leader predicts a specific date for the end of the world. And then when it doesn't happen. Definitive statements about this is going to happen and it's going to happen at this time. And then it doesn't happen. And then these douchebags have the nerve to show their faces in public again and act like, what do you mean? I didn't do, there's no, I didn't say anything incorrect or wrong or factually inaccurate. And why does he support Trump? But my son, my son, you know, finally sold me on being a bigger supporter of yours. I mean, I liked you. Love Americana. You're pure Americana. Why? Of course, because Trump is against the rich globalist elite. I got along great with Clinton. I got along great with Harry Reid. Like a guy like you would say, Trump is total establishment. And I was a big donor to a lot of different Republicans. But when I, when I aligned with Trump, that's when all hell broke loose. Yeah. Yeah, that was part of it. Uh-huh. And, and what was Trump's only significant piece of actionable legislation to date? Oh, that's right. A massive tax cut for a... Who was it again? Oh, yes, that's right. The rich globalist elite. Really makes you think, doesn't it, Alex? I mean, why would Alex Jones support Trump? Unless, of course, he wants the rich globalist elite to be even richer. Yeah, the baby's organs. The only thing that they would be useful for is transplanting into other babies. Because baby organs can't be transplanted into adults because they're 50 times too small. So who the hell are they meant to be selling these things to? It's the whole supply and demand thing, which you can turn a blind eye to in a film like John Wick because it's kind of cool. But what, giant assassination syndicates running cities all over the world, all funded off what? The odd assassination. Don't get me wrong, they're all damn fun films. But when you think about it, it doesn't make a jot of sense. Well, Alex Jones is exactly like that. You know this, yes, but that makes no sense when you think about it. But in real life. You know, hundreds of people involved in some great cover-up involving hundreds of murdered babies. I mean, let's just give this the lemon test, shall we? Clinton and Lewinsky in the Oval Office. Well, it was just the two of them to keep it quiet, yeah? Seriously, one brief sexual liaison. Surely they could keep that hushed up, right? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Oh no, all over the papers. Or what about Trump and Stormy Daniels and their little romp? Did you know about the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels? Then why did Michael go and make it if there was no truth around the game? We have to ask Michael. Michael's my attorney, and you'll have to ask Michael. He 
asked me to pay off an adult film star with whom he had an affair. He was concerned with the effect that it had had uh, on the campaign. Which managed to be hushed up by a $130,000 payment and some signed con. Oh no, another more congressional hearings. He had told me that he had spoken to a couple of friends and it's 130,000, it's not a lot of money and we should just do it. Everything had to go through Mr. Trump. Well, he knew about everything, yes. Or Trump and the Playboy model, or Trump and the Access Hollywood types, whatever, it doesn't matter. People are exceptionally bad at keeping secrets, especially explosive ones, like say, for instance, a baby harvesting cult would be. But for some reason, he thinks you can cover up this giant baby organ harvesting right? Selling the organs to who? I don't know. Apparently, the paper trail just vanishes when you look at it. And why are they doing this? Oh, so they can prove their psychic abilities to the cult of scientists by showing how devoted they are to it. Based on uh, your uh, psychic ability uh, and on your IQ and then on your commitment to the program. Now, I know what many of you will be thinking, that this is really niche stuff. No one really takes this stuff seriously. He's trolling or something. Nope, people really buy into this stuff. I mean, what is it? 40% of Americans believe in media. And look, it is easy to dismiss psychics as a joke. Really easy. Fun, too. But the fact of the matter is, one recent poll found four in ten Americans believe in psychics. We showed her a photo of this missing girl, and she agreed to take the case for 400 bucks. But I think it's solvable. But what Lori didn't know was that the photo our producer gave her was actually a childhood photo of me. I believe that it was a violent passing. I think she was hit in the head with a rock. But her visions didn't end there. I think she can be brought home. Pointing to a remote spot on this map, she even said she could help bring her body home. But clearly, her psychic abilities didn't tell her that I was the girl in the picture. So you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead or yes. alive. Who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me and you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. I mean, flat earthers, they can't be real, right? Oh, no, wait, what's that? <laughs> ah, yes, and what is that below where it says, the earth is flat, but an InfoWars bumper sticker. Listen to the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on in your mind. Yes, all the brain force that this man has been taking has convinced him, not only that the world is actually flat, but also that obeying the law is voluntary. Obey all the Texas rules. You may not think the rules, but guess what, they are. And if you don't, if you get out of here and we see you make a violation, we're gonna pull you over and we're gonna take you to jail. Do you understand those constitutional rights? This is gonna cost you somewhere in around over $1,000 because you've already had a DWLI before. So I don't know how you're gonna get off this parking lot without violating the law. So if I leave the parking lot, you're gonna arrest me? <laughs> it's prima facie evidence. Yeah, he's a sovereign citizen. Laws just don't apply to him. Oh hell, let's take something a little close to home. Elon Musk and his great idea of putting rocket thrusters on cars. We're gonna put rocket thrusters <laughs> on it. For real? Yes. What are they gonna burn? Nothing, uh, high, uh, ultra high pressure compressed air. Whoa, just gas, air? Call, call gas thrusters which I debunked and got a gazillion comments like this about how he was just trolling and that I, I, I used to develop my sense of humor. Well, uh, really, no one took it seriously. Then oddly enough, I look on Wiki the other day up on the Roadster and what do you know? Well, if he was only trolling, he was trolling well enough to get it on Wikipedia. And hell, if you think the 40 or so percent of Americans believing in mediums is bad, don't even ask how many think that Jesus is coming back in their lifetime. You don't even have to scratch the surface of YouTube to come across something like this, a video with 20 odd million hits and a 90 something percent approval rating. And no, this isn't a spoof video, but it does have some awesome special effects. 
how we got to the point where we invented the Heber process and eradicated smallpox, I'll never know, especially now since that we just end up with President Comancho. But I don't know, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe we just need to play a little game of our own. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. I assume the worst. It's well known that Alex Jones secretly loads up his products with soy. It's right there on the label. Soybeans contain high amounts of phytoestrogens. This reduces testosterone and lowers male sperm count. Men with low testosterone have impaired sexual functioning. They lose their libido. Every morning before I start writing or shooting a video, I take two capsules of brain force. But why do that? What does he personally have to gain? Men with high estrogen take on feminine traits. They find it harder to handle stress. I take brain Brain force. Their voices get higher, their genitals shrink. I take brain force. By tainting all these products with soy. What is it about soy that turns men into such spineless wimps? We're losing an entire generation of young men to soy. This is without question the most powerful nootropic I've ever taken. But to turn the virile Americans into third wave feminists to serve its true master, Hillary Rodham Clinton. But I don't know, maybe you can play the little game better than I. Maybe you can tell everyone else the real reason why Alex Jones secretly taints his products with soy. An extra point if you can get the Illuminati, gay frogs, alien abductions, Jesus coming back, and hell, why not, cold gas thrusters all in there for good measure. And hit the like button, because remember, the more times you hit the like button, the less likely you are to have your organs secretly harvested and used for fertilizer in a new type of genetically engineered soy plant that Alex Jones plans to use to make the next generation of brain force out of. Nah, it's all real. I know a top guy in the FBI who told me so. And hell yeah, subscribe if you like the voice of reason in the maelstrom of retardedness. And if you really like this, consider supporting this channel through Patreon. Oh, and uh, thanks for watching.